This is the one feature coming in 2021 that will carry the MCC past the release of Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date with all the content coming out here, guys. So you get to know with everything going on with Halo. If you like these kind of videos and want to see more like them, make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. If you ever wanted to create an epic, large scale boss battle, maybe make the largest forge you've ever made with AI you can place within it, or just create your own Halo campaign, or if you want to get silly, figure out the largest warhog you could possibly make, well, all of this is possible because of mods. From the recent development update in December about the MCC, they actually went into talking a little bit about mod support coming into the MCC. Not just like, oh, giving them some better ability to do it. They're talking about full on mod tools. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Kevin, I've already seen mods happen on the MCC. You know, people like Rejected Shotgun and Infernal Plus even have done some kind of content on the MCC and mods and stuff like that. And it's pretty crazy stuff. And you know what? You would be absolutely correct. But this is just scratching the surface of what the true potential of mod support in the MCC can actually accomplish. And this quote from 343 in the recent development update stating, we will be going more in depth on what exactly mod support means for the MCC next year. But the goal with this line of work is to empower the community to continue to support MCC for as long as there is a desire to. And yes, that does include tools. Currently right now in the MCC, the mod community is doing the best that they can and they've done some amazing work. Like I showcased previously, they created the Halo 3 cut content boss battle. Essentially what was going to happen, confirmed from Bungie employees as well, but the Guardian boss battle was going to play out like in Halo 3 that was cut content. This was a large scale Guardian, which actually they used the model from the Guardians that you see on Epitaph. They actually, you know, put proper texturing on it, some collision models on it, and it came out looking like this. And it's absolutely incredible. You jump into a Hornet and you take on the big bad guy with a laser beam coming out of its head. And apparently the idea was that you would go to these different platforms to kind of activate different sequences within the game and then eventually just rip out the core out of its head, shoot it down with its eye, like kind of crazy stuff that would have been awesome in Halo 3, but not possible within the time constraints that they had. But mod community had the ability to do just that. And that's all without mod tools. The reason why mod tools are gonna be so important is because it makes it so much easier for the modding community to create some more amazing content. Check out Inferno Plus here. Mod tools are supported with the Halo Custom Edition. And look at the insane stuff that they're able to create just in Combat Evolved. People are still playing Combat Modded Combat Evolved in 2020 because there's so many new things. Check out this gigantic warthog that was created. This is an absolute joke. He had to create an entire map just to fit this warthog. It's hilarious, but I absolutely love the fact that they push it to the limits like that. Or for during, I think it was during the summer, they had a quite a viral kind of game come out which was cursed halo which is a game created by mod community support from inferno plus who was able to use the mod tools within ce to create the most wacky version of combat evolved he could possibly make have you heard of spv3 well if you're a halo fan you probably have which is a recreated retexturing remodeled new version of halo combat evolves campaign into a whole new area they created new areas in the map and they also added in project lumoria which that is a fan created and voice act campaign it's absolutely phenomenal i played it and streamed it on this channel guys like it's incredible and this is the kind of stuff that's going to be possible with mod tools with the mcc the reason why it's so crazy, it actually can be confirmed by some of the mod community members. Rejected Shotgun recently went on Twitter and said, when these new MCC modding tools come out, it's gonna make my current mods like, like poo poo garbage. And this is the guy who created the largest forge ever, I think I've ever seen with like a whole new map, you know, AI you can place in the game that's interactive with it and just whole new kinds of content. It's a little janky at times trying to use the in-game tools within Halo 3, but the stuff that he was able to accomplish is absolutely insane. This is the same guy, yeah, again, that made, remade a boss battle that was cut content from Halo 3 of the Guardian. Like, that's 
That's gonna be Doodoo now? Aimchi, who's also part of the modding community here on YouTube for Halo, said, Well, on the bright side, I can confirm that 343 Industries is not messing around when it comes to modding support for the MCC. Think Halo Custom Edition levels of editing tools. Now, when I hear that, it absolutely gets me excited because it just opens the door for so many more possibilities, so many more people to get a chance to actually go in and work with the mods and actually create something new. It's like it's a much more friendlier, much easier interface for people to work with where if you don't know modding super well, it's a great gateway to get yourself into that community and creating some awesome stuff. I mean, people have been hired at game companies for the modding content that they've made. Now, they don't mention this in the development update, but I really hope it gets utilized and I'm pretty sure it will, will be the Steam Workshop. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a place where people can upload content like mods and extra additions to games that people can just, by a simple click of a button, goes right into your game, it's installed and you can play with it right away. I used it with Skyrim a ton, completely enhanced the visuals, redid a whole bunch of crazy stuff and just made it really fun. The amount of game customization you can do with the Steam Workshop is absolutely insane. And it would be so cool to see this being brought in to the community to be able to utilize. I mean, I probably also would see this coming in with the uh, Source Filmmaker as well, so then you actually could create some pretty cool thumbnails as well, bringing those assets into there as well. Currently, right now with the MCC, they do have plans to release seasons every two months in the MCC, which takes us all the way to season 10 is what the current plan is right now, which takes us all the way to November of 2021. The MCC th team over at 343 said at that point, they'll reconsider and take evaluation of where the MCC is at that point because I know a lot of people are going to want to jump over to play Halo Infinite as soon as that game is released. But what's going to be the one thing that's going to keep people coming back to the MCC is going to be the mod support and the content that people are going to create. Mods are the reason why people come back to Halo Custom Edition to keep playing that. It brought me, it, made, it forced me to go download Custom Edition so I can play SPV3 and Project Lemuria. And so why wouldn't that happen with people with the MCC when it comes to that post-launch content when Halo Infinite comes out? So if 343 can pull modding tools off properly, this will be the one feature that will keep the MCC alive post Halo Infinite's release. Also, please go give a follow and a subscribe to Game Cheat, Inferno Plus, Rejected Shotgun, and the SPV3 team, and other members of the modding community within Halo, because the stuff that they create is absolutely insane and one of a kind, really, that you can't really find anywhere else. Links to their content is gonna be in the description of this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Have you tried out some different Halo mods? Let me know. I'd like to check them out as well. If you'd like to see some showcases, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. I definitely read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. New to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos that have been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.